Truth. Right now, new evidence coming out in the trial of a Virginia Beach man accused of killing his ex-girlfriend. It is day three in the trial against Lamont Johnson. He's accused of killing Bellamy Gamboa. Her body has never been recovered. News 3 reporter Brendan Ponton has been covering this case for us. He is live at the courthouse. So, Brendan, what happened today? So late this afternoon here, the prosecution has rested their case. The defense said they have no evidence to present, and Lamont Johnson said he was not taking the stand. Now, as all of that was going on, the defense actually attempted to have the case thrown out. They're saying that while there is a confession in this case, they say that there is not enough physical evidence to corroborate what the confession says and that this doesn't constitute a murder case. The judge ruled against that today and said the case can move forward. Prosecutors have said Lamont Johnson treated Bellamy Gamboa like a piece of trash and not the vibrant person and mother she was. And today's courtroom testimony centered around the trash. Jurors were shown cell phone video from detectives of Johnson reenacting how he put Bellamy Gamboa's body into a dumpster off of Military Highway in Chesapeake. He shows them where he parked, how he moved the body, and placed her into the dumpster. Johnson led detectives to the dumpster after he confessed to killing Gamboa in July 2018. Video of the confession was played for the jury on Wednesday. Gamboa's body was never recovered, and this afternoon jurors were shown video of the dump truck that collected what was in that dumpster and would have contained Gamboa's body. It was taken to a trash facility in Portsmouth, offloaded, and eventually all of the contents in the dumpster were burned, way before anyone would have realized her remains were there. Prosecutors are trying to prove how this is a murder case with no body. Jurors also saw surveillance video showing what Johnson did in the hours after Gamboa's death, including walking home after prosecutors say he ditched her car in another neighborhood and then threw the keys away. On the defense side, attorneys asked the witnesses mostly factual questions, but did confront the detectives who got Johnson to confess. The detectives made it sound like they were on Johnson's side, and the defense attorneys questioned one of them about whether she was lying to Johnson. The detective said she was lying about her feelings and opinions, which she says she's allowed to do, but she says she never lied about the facts of the case. So what will happen tomorrow is there will be jury instructions, then there will be closing arguments, and then the jury is expected to begin deliberations. We'll keep you updated on all of that as it plays out.